Uh, my name is Isabella Pearson and I'm from Maine. And um, the piece, the lamp that I made is out of mahogany. The body is mahogany. Um, the shade is mahogany veneer that's been iron stained. On the outside, it's still raw on the inside. Um, it also has a little bit of oil on the outside of the shade. Um, the metal pieces are, are steel. They're actually just uh, mild steel and they've got a clear coat on them. And um, the base is also mild steel. Um, I welded the rings to the feet, um, which is interesting. I actually bent those, um, the rings out of key stock, just cold, bent them around a form. Um, and you can bend them in a big spiral, kind of like a, um, almost like a corkscrew and then cut them and you all have all of these similar shaped rings. So that's how I made those and then welded them to the, to the legs. Um, I let in some pieces of steel to the body of the um, lamp so that these components wouldn't rub against the wood directly. There's nothing other than a piece of welding rod that I coiled, um, bent around another piece of metal to get the right diameter, and then you can just wind that around the cord, which makes it very easy to um, put together. And um, blue, blue, and the blue cord. Yeah, the cords um, was something that. Um, it wasn't an afterthought at all, but it, it very much, um, you know, that the color of the mahogany being kind of orange, I think works very well with the blue. It um, wasn't something that I had in my mind until I saw what the colors were, you know, the available colors of cord. And I thought, oh, that's gonna look really cool with, with that natural mahogany color. Um, but they do have, you know, I'm interested in making some lamps that have different color cords and then that might require a different color wood for the body and the shade. And maybe even um, a different color metal. You could do bronze or um, painted metal. Um, and what else? The shade is actually where the, this whole design started because I had a table um, that I was making um, maple with a veneer of mahogany on top of it and it went south the project did not go as planned so i had all of this veneer left over and i didn't want to throw it away it was very wide pieces of mahogany and i thought oh i have to do something with this stuff so i started just wrapping it because that seemed like what i wanted to do and then i had these shapes and thought oh well this has to be a lampshade so then that the rest of it came from just having the shade and thinking how that would look interesting hanging from something um, and the only other part that came very quickly was the body is actually um, based on a spar design. So I studied boat building, um, which is where I learned to work with wood. And this is a shape that was used um, in my school for making a boom for a, a sailboat. And it goes from round at both ends and then it becomes oblong in the middle. And I thought that was a really neat shape and I kind of held on to that idea. and. When I came up with the shade idea, I thought, oh, well, that would be a perfect body form for this lamp. So um, I actually make it the same way that you would make a spar. You four side, eight side, 16 side, and then start shaving away with a hand plane and then sanding it to round. So that's pretty cool um, technique. It's fun to do that. And I've actually made another larger lamp that had the same spar design, but I left it at um, 16 sides, so it's faceted, but it still does the same tapering, but you have this really interesting texture that, you know, these lines that run up and down the length, um, which I think is also a neat way to do it.